So you've just bought yourself a MP300 Navara and you wanna know what to do first. These are the top five modifications you should do to your nav. Doesn't matter what series you've got, one to five. This is what you guys should be doing straight off the bat. First mod you should be doing without a doubt is your hot pipe, the, this bad boy right here. They're prone to leaking, if yours hasn't leaked, it's probably only a matter of time before it does. Pretty simple mod. So there's a few places where you can actually get the upgraded pipe from. So I've got the CRG one installed. Um, I think you can get one from Platinum. Uh, mechanical and suspension as well. Uh, so there's a, a few floating around. But without a doubt, that is definitely the first modification you should be doing. Number two on the list is your throttle body pipe. So I'm on the passenger side of the vehicle. Uh, it's this pipe located in here. So very, very common issue for the plug to blow out on these, um, especially if you're gonna be using your Navara for towing. So the pipe from factory is actually made from plastic. Again, you can get them from CRG, um, Platinum again. Um, there's a few places that, that do sell them. Number three on the list is the throttle controller. So I currently have one from Ultimate 9. So I'm looking to replace that one with one from Black Ops Off-Road. They're the two main ones that I'm I'm aware of that you can get. Speaking of Black Ops Off-Road, so if you guys want 10% off, um, you can jump over to their website. I'll put the link down below and you can get 10% off with the code BREAD. It doesn't give you any more power, but it just makes the Navara way more responsive. So when you put your foot down, you actually go somewhere. So they come in super handy as well uh, when it comes to four-wheel driving. So you can dampen your throttle as well, so it's a much smoother controlled acceleration. So still inside the nav for number four, UHF. By far, one of the handiest things I have installed in, in the nav. Um, when I first bought it, I went camping with some mates and I kid you not, I was driving around for, it was nearly an hour trying to find them and it's because I didn't have a UHF, I couldn't call them, there was no reception. Without a doubt, even just from like a safety perspective, yeah, a UHF, super handy. Um, there's a bunch of videos out there showing you how to how to install it. You, you don't need a fancy one. This one from Oricom was like, uh, I don't even think it was 200 bucks and it's, it's perfect. Thoroughly, thoroughly recommend getting a UHF. So without further ado, the top modification you can do for your Navara, it's a simple one. I have not even done it yet. You guys might think this is controversial, but have a listen to this. The infamous key still in car beep. It is the most annoying thing ever. Like the amount of times I've been doing something on the nav and I wanna keep the keys in there and walk away. So you can actually stop that from happening. I might do that in a video at some point in time, but <laughs> I just haven't got around to doing it. It's, it annoys the absolute shit out of me. Yeah, I don't know about anyone else, but it's it's the little things that can make a big difference in a car. Um, but yeah, that that's top of the list for me. Um, as soon as you buy a nav, do the modification where that beeping doesn't uh, that beeping is taken away because it's just. Oh. Probably just grinds my gears because it reminds me of an alarm clock. People usually expect when you do a top five list to be tires and lift kits and all that stuff, but they don't actually need those modifications to, to get out there and enjoy your, your nav. The couple of pipes are more of a preventative measure just to make sure you don't have a bad time when you're out and about and everything else is more of just like a quality of quality of life modification. Yeah, I feel like once you've done those mods, you can definitely move on to the bigger and more expensive modifications. But that's just one man's opinion. Um, let me know yours in the comment section below. Otherwise, guys, I'll catch you in the next episode. If you've enjoyed this one, don't forget to like and subscribe. But I'll see you next time.